everyone, welcome to this lesson. So in this lesson, we're going to move on to open methods. In the previous two lessons, we dealt with bracketing methods. We dealt with a bisection method and we dealt with a false position method. And uh, those two methods are called bracketing methods because we need two guesses to bracket the root. Now, when it comes to open methods, we are only needing uh, one guess. Now, those two methods in the open methods, as you remember, are the newton raphson method and the secant method. And in this lesson, we're going to focus uh, on the newton raphson method. Now, we're going to learn the concept behind the newton raphson method in this uh, lesson. We're going to develop a program to approximate both roots, in this case, the negative 1 and the 2, for the same function that we dealt with before the x squared minus x minus 2, with the approximate error of 0.1%. Um, we're also going to show the effect of using different guesses, right? Because if this only requires one guess, if I use different guesses, would that give me different outputs? So we're going to also investigate that. And we're also going to compare the results with the bisection and false position and see, is the newton raphson even, you know, better? Now, the newton raphson method is very, very simple, it's very, very intuitive. And uh, say, for instance, we have xi. xi, this is our guess, and we're going to say our guess says x equal 1. And what the newton raphson does is it takes the slope at this point here, and it takes that slope and it extends it to the x-axis, and where it intercepts is what my root is going to be. So as we did with the bisection method and with the false position, what would be an equation that would define the xr? Because if you remember with the false position, we did the two similar triangles to find what that equation is, this definition of that xr. Well, with the neutral raphson, since we're taking the slope and we're extending it, it's just going to be the equation of a slope, right? So what is the equation of a slope? Well, the equation of a slope is the rise over the run. So in this case, it's going to be f of xi, which is the function here, minus this f of xr, which is 0. And uh, the run is going to be xi minus xr. So we have this equation that we have here. So if I rewrite this equation, I get this new definition of what xr is. I need the guess, which is the xi. I need the function at xi. And also need the derivative at xi for me to get this intercept that the slope makes with the x-axis. Now, I want you to see something here. You might actually look at this root and you're like, okay, this is a pretty bad approximation, right? We're closer to 3 and my root is 2. True, the first one is bad, but the second iteration, the second approximation is going to be actually better. So we're going to use this xr. So this xr is going to be our uh, guess to find a better approximation. So what the neutron raphson does is going to take the function, or it's going to take the point at that x, and it's going to take its slope, and it's going to extend it to the x-axis. And you can clearly see the second time around, we are much, much closer to the uh, actual true root, too, right? So despite the fact that the first one gave a pretty lousy um, approximation, the one after that, dramatic, dramatic improvement. So let's actually go ahead and write the code. Now, uh, let's actually look at this equation again. So what do I need? I need a guess, right? I need xi. I need the function at xi and the derivative at xi. So unlike uh, the false position and the bisection method, I actually need the derivative here. And the function that I'm dealing with is x squared minus x minus 2. If I use the power rule, uh, my derivative is going to be 2x minus 1. And okay, I created a new module here. And what I want to do just for ease, I'm going to copy the function that we did from false position, I'm going to paste it here. But not only do I need this function, but I also need the function for the derivative. So I'm going to say dy dx, and I'm going to say my input is x, and I'm going to define it here. dy dx is equal to, and we said it's 2 multiplied by x minus uh, 1. So now I have two, two functions that I can call inside of my program later on. So let's call sub newton Raphson. And uh, I my preference is I like to uh, set up the loop first. So we're going to say do while. And what we want to do is we're going to keep looping as the approximate error is greater than 0.1. And I'm going to close the loop. And what did we do when we first explained this? When we first explained this, we actually had to define what my guess is. And my first guess 
that we're going to investigate is xi is equal to 1. So that's the first thing that I need to define. And also, as you remember, we will always define the error initially at 100%. After I got my gas, I can use this equation to find what is the intercept of that um, uh, of the slope of that point, right? So it's going to be xr is equal to xi, which I defined uh, up here, minus, and I'm going to call the function now f of xi divided by f of xi, or no, divided by dy dx of xi, right? So given that I have the root with anything in numerical methods, you need to know what the error is for that approximation. So I'm going to say my approximate error is the absolute. And actually, just for ease, let's actually go here into uh, the bisection. Actually, let's take those two lines of code. I'm going to paste them here. So my approximate error here, instead of x old, we're just going to use xi here. And we're still getting for the true error uh, at 2. And as you remember with the uh, false position, I need to store my approximate somewhere before I get a newer approximate. And in this case, we're going to store it in xi. So xi is equal to xr. So when I look back, I have the value of the approximate uh, before, so I can actually get a, an approximate error. So much like what we did with the false position, let's actually get this uh, code so we can actually display what the, um, the code is doing. Uh, so we can actually compare it to the bisection and the false position. And if I'm going to use this line of code, i is equal to i plus 1, I have to initialize i equal 1 up here. And we're actually done with the uh, neutral refsing code. So let's actually go ahead and run it and see what's going to happen. Okay. So if I run this, all right, perfect. So we can see that we actually took uh, five iterations. It has an approximate error of 0 0.002, a true error of zero, and we actually reached a root of uh, two. And this is actually pretty nice to see. This is, uh, the, the error is declining in a quadratic way, right? It has certain curvature in its decline, and that's why it's declining much, much faster. Because if I compare this with a false position, I have an approximate error of 0 0.088 for the same number of iterations. But look at this graph. It's actually declining linearly. And this one is qu uh, declining quadratically, which is why the approximate error is much uh, lower. And you can actually you actually see that the false position and also the bisection has have a linear decline when it comes to their um, error. And this has a more quadratic decline. So you can actually see from observing the error that the neutral resin is superior to both the bisection and the uh, false position. So what if I actually use another guess? What if I don't want to? What if I don't use the guess x, x cycle one and use the guess x cycle zero? What what uh, output would I get here? So let's actually delete this. So if I run my program now. You see, I got the root at negative 1. Because I, because I got a guess closer to negative 1 than closer to 2, I got the uh, root at negative 1. Because 1 was closer to 2, it got the root at x equal 2. Now, the true error here is completely all over the place. And the reason that is is because here is defined in terms of negative 2. So if I define it in terms of negative 1, it should correct this problem. All right, so we still have five iterations. Uh, we have an approximate error of 0 0.005, a true error of 0, and I reach my root at negative 1. And again, this is still, we're still having a quadratic decline in terms of our, um, our error. So what did we cover in this lesson? We introduced the new concept of the neutral Raphson method. Uh, to find a uh, root of an equation. And it was very, very simple, right? We have a guess, we use the der uh, the derivative at that, or the slope, we extend it to the x-axis and where it intercepts, that's our root. And we use the equation of a slope to derive what xr is going to be defined in terms of right, right now, right? So in terms of the neutral Raphson, we're defining it this way. In terms of false position, XR is defined in this way. In terms of the bisection, XR is defined in this way now. 
But what's different, so different also between the bisection and the false position in interrafsin is now during interrafsin, I need to know what my derivative is, right? And if I don't know what my derivative is, that's not a problem, and this is what we're going to be investigating in the next lesson when we're going to be dealing with the secant uh, method. Um, in this method, we actually also, in this uh, lesson, we actually showed the uh, effect of using different guesses. And when we used one, we converged at uh, x equal two, and that's only because of the proximity. And when we use zero, we converged to negative one again, because it's more closer to proximity in terms of x equal negative one than it is to x equal two. Um, the last thing that we uh, investigated was we compared the results of this method to the two others. And we saw that in five um, iterations, we reached an approximate error of 0 0.005, as opposed to the false position reaching 0 0.088. So the neutral rafting can clearly, you can clearly see that the neutral rafting is superior to the false position. And of course, if the neutral rafting is superior to the false position, it is of course superior to the bisection method. Well, this marks the end of this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.